Sports Stars Magazine here with the California High School State Champion, uh, Rina Kawasaki uh, from Palos Verdes. Unbelievable 20 foot putt uh, to grab birdie uh, on the second playoff hold, uh, the 18th. Obviously, you would part it uh, during the regular round, but uh, just from T to, uh, to fairway uh, to green, you, you can't drop a masterpiece any better than that. I know it's still very fresh and very immediate, but like when you reflect back on just on how good that uh, that second playoff hole could have gone, that 18th playoff hole. I mean, is it was it was that about as close to you know perfection in terms of drawing it up? Yeah, um, I had a really bad like first time. I did not hit a good drive. I did not hit a good second shot. I just made my putt, and I had a really similar putt the first time. So I think I just wanted to do the same thing and just make it. And uh, you know, the, uh, the fact both of you had birdied one you know, during regulation, both of you had birdied 18 uh, uh, during uh, regulation. I mean, you were in a, in a, in a great spot, you know, you, even on the uh, on the first playoff hole uh, on one. Just how proud are you of just kind of controlling the nerves and just, you know, just, you know, just be, being really present, right? And you know, enjoying the moment. I mean, obviously you've got everybody in the entire place looking at you and uh, and the defending state champion. Like, just uh, how, how much uh, did that stage, that platform mean to you? Um, it meant a lot. Um, I tried to just keep myself calm, give myself yardages that I like, just put myself in just chances, just give me chances. Most definitely. The, uh, the fact that uh, first girls individual state champion uh, for the school, only the second ever uh, uh, for, uh, for the, the entire league. Uh, so, you know, when, as you, as you really got going in the, in the postseason, I mean, even a woman that plays at such an elite level, you know, you know that there's nothing promised, nothing guaranteed. Uh, but you know, was there even a, a part of uh, a today's round that, you know, when you were starting to get, you know, being consistently around three under to start to think like, Hey, you know, uh, maybe this could come to fruition or do you, do you try to even, you know, like think uh, about those possibilities? Um, I try not to think about the future, just think about the present, just get think about the current shot, the current putt. Um, yeah, I just try not to like make myself nervous or like just keep my regulation, like emotions in regulation. Can you talk to me ab uh, about kind of you, man, uh, especially managing those emotions, like there was a lot of of of, of ebb and flow, and you know, in you know, in the back nine for uh, for you, like you know, just I mean, having to, you know to rebound from a couple of those bogeys, but then obviously you know, you're getting hot with a couple of birdies at the right time. Yeah. You know, you had a chance to win it outright, you know, on the uh, on the 18th and regulation, but just you know how how you kind of just you know like stayed present on each shot and com you know compartmentalize like you know it's like hey just because i birdied this hole doesn't mean i'm gonna birdie the next just because i bogeyed this hole doesn't mean i'm gonna bogey the next like just ayo uh, what it was like for you to to kind of just keep uh, keep all those emo emotions and balance on the back nine um yeah i just tried to not freak out not put myself in bad positions don't take any unnecessary risks um yeah i just try to just keep myself calm when they uh, when they talk about not just being a state champion uh, and it, you being the first woman to do so in a playoff, which obviously will forever cement your legacy, you know, in, in high school golf. But then obviously the, the exemptions to the amateurs. Yeah. Uh, you'd probably end up qualifying for those anyways uh, because of your talent level. But the fact that that, that those are kind of the the perks of uh, of being a state champion, uh, how, how powerful is that for you? Um, it means a lot to be able to play, to be able to be exempt into such high level tournaments that I would originally have to qualify for. I think, I think it takes a lot of burden off of me to just be able to play without qualifying. What does it mean for, uh, for you uh, to have that a PV on your, uh, on your golf shirt and, and, um, and, and, and to bring that state championship home for the group, which also has an you know, opportunity to win a state championship in girls volleyball this weekend. So it could, uh, be, a, could be a pretty memorable week at PV. Yeah, um, it feels really, I'm proud. Um, I love my school. I love my classmates. I love the teachers. Um, I love my coach. I love my team. It just, it means a lot. Yeah. Very cool. Rena, uh, that was uh, unbelievable theater to, uh, to witness, and uh, that's going to be a 20-footer that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Thank you.